Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, not much. <laughs> Just metal detecting the beaches of San Diego. That sounded really corny, right? Like, yeah, do hey. you want to start over? No, I don't want to no, start no, over. No, We're right, going to keep fine. this real. So, okay. what did we find today, buddy? Uh, a lot of crap. It's crap, it's not just crap, it's very unique. Um, for starters, it's not quite metal, but the core. Um, some of you may not realize, but it's actually coming from an endangered tree, so don't buy real cork unless you want to kill the environment. Um, other stuff we found, Robert found some other plastics. Nice, perfect one. Don't cut yourself with it. Some, something very dangerous probably came out of a plastic prison, a plastic shank, you know? How those go? That's right, cool. You don't know me. I cut you. A okay. uh, very beautiful necklace for a woman with a very small head. Um, something nice we did find, however. Um, Robert, oh, Robert yeah. bought me some beautiful earrings with oh, yeah. zirconia. Look at that. You see that right were, there? I thought these were safety pins at first. Yeah, look at Pretty that. Pretty interesting little, little earrings. I personally would not wear those. Now, we're not alcoholics, but I mean, there, there are a lot of bottle caps in my hand right now. Um, make of that what you will. Um, hey, 1971 called. They said they want the bottle caps of the beer Schultz back. All right? Exactly. Exactly. We also got some old beer pop tops and soda pop tops here. Very, very ancient. Um, feel free to buy them off of us for a dollar a pop. We're making necklaces with those, by the way, and matching earrings. And you better watch out, because uh, you might get shot metal detecting here with our, our friendly 22s. No idea how this got here, but it got here. Oh, are you shooting people here, Robert? <laughs> um, so we got some nice little screws, a little stainless steel one there, and then uh, plenty, plenty of tetanus shots waiting to happen, eh, Scraps? Yeah, that's a lot right there. So for you mom and dads out there, I want you to take note of this. This right here, we're saving your kids from having to go to the hospital to get that uh, tetanus, tetanus shot. shot. So, yeah, we take that stuff and we actually are putting it on... Uh, putting it Go in a container me. and in a GoFundMe thing so people will be able to donate and they'll get a piece of that at some point. So yep. anyway. So if you want to help clean up the beach, we'll get that set up later and you can uh, just donate a little bit of cash and we'll send you some trash. So let's show them some of the tent sticks we found today. So this is just a, a little bit of what we've discovered today. Nice hearty yeah, supply of tent sticks. Um, gonna put Home Depot out of know, business. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We should, we should open our own little tent up, you know, a tent stake tent. Yeah. Um, so what else do we yeah, got? Yeah, yeah, enough stakes to stick the oh, aluminum yeah. Dracula. Here we got a piece of aluminum slag, so let's zoom in on that. It's real ugly looking. How do you think that was made? Um, this probably was made from someone melting a can of soda, or a beer can maybe, in a fire pit. You think that person yeah. was drunk? Probably, yeah. in the process I would be willing to imagine, this drunk. is about a whole can's worth of aluminum right there. So Not too big when it melts what's down. It, what's it called again? It's, it's called aluminum slag. So anytime a piece of metal gets melted, and it's not being melted into a cast to make a certain shape, it's just slag. Put them in your can, smash the can so they don't rattle, and get an extra gram or so of aluminum in there. He's talking about cheating the system. Yeah, pay attention if you want some extra dough. All right, what else <laughs> do we got? Uh, other than that, we uh, just had some fun experiences today. Right. Today, we uh, met the Phantom of the Opera. He lives in a hole, and he plays piano. We, have, we actually never got down to him, but uh, he was yelling at us because we were knocking his roof down. We, we dug some three-foot holes, actually. About this wide, man. Freaking huge. Did not find what was giving us the signal. It must have been a Ferrari or a Fiat. Maybe someone's bicycle. Who knows? I don't know, but whatever it was, it was a deep freaking hole. It was about three feet deep. I ended up twisting my knee on it. It's been bugging me since. And it has nothing to do with me getting older. Just the fact that it was a hole that... Uh, Felt kind of bad walking away from. Did you not? It, I would right? make myself walk away from that. We had dug his teeth. Just the did. whole idea that we spent the time, and then some guy comes up and he's like, "Hey, you guys you actually get anything from there?" And we're, you're like, "Yeah, yeah." And they yeah, sit yeah. there standing there watching us do it, and we end up with nothing. <laughs> so then we go to another one, and we're like, "All right, this one's two feet. We're gonna stop already." Yeah, but there's a conspiracy theory. Here now. it is. Check yeah, this out. Listen to this. Pretty, pretty sound, if you ask me. 
Uh, this used to be a military beach where we're at right now. Well, boom, baby! So, what we're thinking is there might be some unexploded ordinances or landmines or something, and uh, if we had kept digging, it might have gotten a little messy. Well, the other thing I was thinking is if we kept going any further, it could have ordered some Chinese food. That would have been quite tasty. <laughs> Wait, would you get takeout or would you, uh, for here? Well, on the way down, I would have hit a bomb, probably would have had to get a takeout <laughs> order. Yeah. All right, so are we almost done here? We wrapping this I up? I we're wrapping it up. All right, so I think now it's time for a puppet show. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's give our viewers a puppet show. This is some great A stuff here. I'd say we were going to put the uh, puppet to the shame. All right, here we go. Yeah. Ah! 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 So that's how we do it here. Pretty hardcore. I know, out. right? Never know what to go down lovely little beach of ours. So on today's program we wanted to share with you our sponsor, believe it or not. Yeah. This is our second episode now. We're already sponsored. And we're sponsored. Yeah. Pretty legit guy. By the letter A. Yeah, by the letter A. He's pretty awesome. So awesome. Uh, Appalicious. Axing it up. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Adventure. I've lost for words. I think I won again. You did. You did. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, in the comments, if you can, go ahead and smash that like sign and or subscribe. And subscribe. And, and put a come, put a word in the comment section that starts with the letter A. Yeah. Uh, anything that's uh, derogatory, definitely gonna delete it. So yeah. uh, be mindful of those of others. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Keep being awesome. 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 How come I can't think of any more words to start with the letter A? It's because we're, we're doing it live, man. I know, right? Group yeah. Mistakes. All right, laters.